how do I describe my G-Man, my Ganon? Ganon's my hero. I love him so much. He's not only my hero, he has multiple people that call him his hero as well. He has so many family members that just look up to him at such a small age. He's full of life. He's happy. He's energetic. He loves sports. He loves Sonic. He loves going outside, playing with his friends, his sister, his neighbor, especially Brayden. Um, this neighborhood basically gives you a true example of who my son is. Everybody coming together. All the smiles that people have. This is why I have hope, because I feel it. This is Gannon truly speaking to our community. Gannon, is, he loves blue. He loves Sonic. He's into coding. He loves riding his bicycle with his sister, and I know that he's missing that right now. He holds his job as being Big Bubba, very important, and for him not to be able to talk to his sisters has to be hurting him. This week has been awful. It's been more than a roller coaster ride. It's been more than emotional mess. I don't even have answers for my feelings other than I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I will never hear his voice that I'll never hear him run and say, Mommy! That I'll never hear those corny jokes that he always tell every single day. He has to tell me a joke. He looks forward to telling me something silly. And I'm afraid that I may never see that again or hear it. I don't want to believe that because that means that I'm giving up hope and I'm not giving up hope because my son is full of hope. So I'm urging anyone that has any leads, credible leads, if you're too afraid because you know something, a kid just doesn't disappear and no one sees him. That's doesn't. It's not how this works. So if you have anything that's credible, if you're afraid, don't worry about it. Imagine my son, how afraid he is. Imagine how afraid Gannon is. So please call. Please write. If you need to have someone else to do it for you, please do. Because my son deserves to be here. He deserves to be here. Please call the El Paso Sheriff's County and let them know. And I thank you guys, the community, for what you've done. Because this is Gannon. This is who he is. And I thank you guys so much. When Gannon was born, he weighed only one pound and six ounces. And even today, he's still our miracle child. He still is. And... He's such a happy child, and he, he just brings life to every party. He, he, his smile, even today, is keeping us going. His infectious smile brings me joy every time I think about it. The past eight days have been, uh, as Landon said, a roller coaster of emotions. Sometimes we jump in for joy because we get an information that we might think is a break in the case, and and then the next minute we get it you know, we see something or get information that just breaks our heart into a million pieces again. But through all this, just know that your thoughts and your prayers and your messages, keep them coming because even if we don't respond, we are receiving them. And that has given us strength to get through this. And I do want to say I'm so proud of, of Lena, my little baby girl here, and of Landon, you know, my children's mother. They've been so strong through this, stronger than I would have ever thought that I, that I could have ever been. And I'm getting strength from them as well. As I said, please keep sending your thoughts and your prayers because we are receiving them and if you have any information any information at all that could help please reach out to the El Paso County Sheriff's Office with only credible information but any information that you think may help thank you so much your turn baby Hello, Baba. 